what's up to different worlds this is your girl jasmine if you're new to this channel i'm going to be doing a interview practice interview with my niece and my son just to see where they at see how well they would do under pressure when they're in front of an interviewer and how well they would answer so i'm going to do that with them and since they have an interview coming up because they about to start working, this is their first job. So I just want to see how they do. So stay tuned to that. Okay, so we here at the table. I'm about to do a practice interview with my son and my niece because they have an interview coming up and I want to get them prepared for it. Hey, what's your State your name. Yes, your first name. Demetrius Harris. Speak up. Demetrius Harris. Demarion. <laughs> Are y'all nervous? Okay, I'm gonna have to get into character. Usually you would do an interview individually. You know, you won't be with your, somebody that you feel comfortable with. So, it would just be you and a person that you don't know. <laughs> hey. The interviewer. So. <laughs> I cannot see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, thanks for coming in today. I have to take these bad boys off. Oh. Thanks for coming in today. I really needed somebody. We had lost a lot of people. I'm glad that y'all had called in and showed that y'all was interested in to working with this company. So first off, my name is Sharon. Ooh, I'm a lot Sharon. I'm trying to get into care that you know what my name can be. What do I look like? Hey, bro. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, no, I think something. Oh, camera. And I'm just hey. looking at the camera. Hey. And so my name is Cameron. <laughs> my name is Cameron. I've been working with this company for hey, ten yeah. years. My name is Cameron. I've been working with this company for 10 years. And what we do is we hire a whole lot of youth students and between the ages of 15 and 11 and help them out. Well, no, it was 13 11. and 16. Okay, let me, let me do that over. What we do is we hire a lot of youth between 13 and 15 to help them get experience when they do enter the job, they will know what they need to do. And how they, well me, I'm going to do a practice interview with y'all to see how y'all will, you know, get used to it, see how y'all, what answers, which I would come up with. Okay, back to care. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off with you. Hey, y'all want to see how I was. Your name is? Jamarion. Y'all want to see Jamarion. 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 Uh, it was just Have you ever worked anywhere else before? Yeah. No. Omar, Scotty. So you don't have no English. experience? No. There's dudes, dudes, and um, Michael, Jojo. What made you apply for this company? Don't answer. It helped everybody. To 
If you, you need to at least give a person three things. <laughs> give them three. <laughs> Is that too hell? Yeah, man. Yes, they did. Have something. They did you. have undercover cops, nigga. <laughs> something. Two. For the summer. Oh. How did you hear about this, y'all? You posted it online. Oh, <laughs> Why should I hire you? You don't know why I should hire you, Jamar. You have no clue why I should know how to clean me. Okay. No, it's not too clean. Robert was at the He knows how to give handouts, I guess. That's what that signal is. <laughs> Hand out. Anything else? No, that's okay. Okay, Jamaria. I will get back with you. Give me like one or two business things, and I will send out an email if you get this position or not. What's your name? Dante Robert. Demetrius. I see y'all picking on y'all. How old are you, Demetrius? Thirteen. Thirteen. Do you have any experience? No. <laughs> Did you hear about this job, the baby tree? Family. Okay. Family. Why did you want this job? What pulled your interest into applying for this job? Stay active. Stay active. True. How did you hear about this job? Why do you make your name stay with people? Family members. I thought I said that, didn't I? <laughs> I was just making sure you Why was... Why you make okay. your name seven three? Don't you What did you see at seven five years from now? Playing sports? Mm. Playing sports. <laughs> okay, Demetria, well, I will get back with you in a couple days. I will send out an email and, or I will give you a call and let me know if you got this position. Two days later, the verdict. Hey, Jamari. So, unfortunately, this job is not for you. <laughs> I don't feel like you're the oh, right yeah. candidate for this position at the moment. Uh, Even though I'm thank, trying to thank help. You. <laughs> <laughs> but you have really no intentions in working for this company. Just the fact that you're actually doing it for family. You bored, really, what you were saying for the summer. I would be like I did for, for. I don't think you're gonna be the right candidate. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. But you can try putting in another application six months from now. I mean, I still <laughs> think for you, and we'll see that. Okay, thank you, Demetria. Hang on. I feel that you're not the right candidate for this position. 
Well, come on, hey. For one, you're doing it for family as well. Two, when I ask you, who do you see yourself five years from now with this company? You pick sports. <laughs> yeah. So that tells me right there you're not interested in this company. You don't even really care. <laughs> and I just gonna have to pick someone else to be the that's gonna be the best candidate for this position. And I just feel like that y'all you're, you're not they're quite there yet. Okay. Mm -mm. So just apply again in the next six months or so. And we'll see. I think they did okay for the first interview. You know, for a kid that never had an interview before. So I'm going to, this is, I'm going to break it down to them. What the interviewer look forward to when someone apply for a position. Girl, come on. For what? The most biggest mistake that people make is they put their personal life into their professional life. So instead of saying, how did, when I ask you, how do you hear about this position? Family is good. You can, you can hear about it online. You can see post boards or anything. But when it comes to why did you apply for this position? You can't get down because you want to make money. We all know that's why you apply. Because we all want money. Because no one's going to work for free. Two, you can't say because you're bored and you need something to do. Yes, sir. That's going to draw the person, the interviewer, away from you. Because now they feel like, okay, you're not interested. You're not even going to take this job seriously. Okay? If I would have So, and then... When I ask you, yeah. what did I ask you? Give me a second. Other stuff is rambling in my head. Did you have any experience for this position? You could have easily said, because I, I, I said, I know that y'all don't have any job related experience because this is your first job. You could have said things that you do around a house, oh, well. parts like cleaning, which was good when you had it's said logo. cleaning. But then you went downhill and started saying other stuff that it, what, it didn't matter. So when you said cleaning, you could have broke that down. What what kind of cleaning? Did you wash the dishes, mop the floor? You, you, all you had to do was put down, because you know this is a cleaner position, you could have just said everything about cleaning. That's it. Where's when you apply for the job, no, hold on. When you apply for a job, the interview is interested in hearing what related job positions that she was in or experience that you have done. You can't go to a job interview, uh, let's say, this is a, a clinic interview and you talking about who a doctor position you're way overqualified for this this is not for you so when you unless you going to be a janitor at a hospital that's when you will bring in like what i made the, the beds up and stuff like that but when you talk about you a doctor, you used to be a doctor, but you coming in here to clean up. It's two separate things, or even vice versa. Oh, when you was working at a cleaning position, and then you try to go in for a doctor, they're going to look at you and be like, sir. Sir. <laughs> Get out of my office. <laughs> you know, you understand? 
So we're gonna do this interview again. Okay. So next, this time, be more professional on a professional level. Think, okay. okay, this is what we're doing. We're cleaning up, right? This is what y'all fill out for, right? Right, y'all get dirty. So that's what you need to talk about. Okay? Round two. No, you not. No, no pain, no. No okay. pain, no. Okay, so this time, I'm pain. going to be a little bit more you don't got no serious. I'm going to ask a little harder questions for you. So the first one I up. gave you was a little easy, you know. So, mm -hmm. here we go. Naya? Naya, I'm going to go with you first, okay? Okay, Miss Naya. I'm not even about to log you up. I know I can log you up, but I'm not. How old are you? Thirteen. How did you hear about this job? Exactly. See, look, daddy, he's so dumb. Tell me about your work experience. It sucks ass, though. Cleaning? Mm -hmm. Clean up a lot of hair. Yeah, I tried to tell him to get it. Yeah, y'all trying to tell me that I can't Just break down what you clean up. The fishes. I've been here. The table, the windows. Sweep, walk, electric. How do you work under pressure? Under pressure? But he don't lie, yeah. huh? Ooh. Let's say that I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say that you're working and someone comes constantly uh, asking you something. Like, and asking you. And then you have uh, to keep stopping what you're doing to help them. And then, let me give you a better one. Let someone say that you're working and someone ooh. comes and nags about how you're so working. What? I have butter in the good place. Alright. Hey, Zay. I can work the test. Or I'll work. I'm in Zay. Y'all join Zay. Is somebody. How do you work up under pressure? I can be working on my own. I've been at it. Next question. <laughs> you said you can multitask, so okay, we're gonna stick <laughs> What can you bring to this company? Hey, how y'all get that? If it's a bad place for the people that work here. Excuse me? Ma'am? You did it so much, man. What type of skills will you bring to this job? Um, uh, hard work skills. <laughs> hey, Pam. Where do you see yourself five years from now?
Go on my team. So you can still gonna see yourself five years from now, still being the Or y'all didn't let everybody join. <laughs> Not saying that that's a bad thing because it's a job. But when you're working for a company, you want to be able to move up with this company. Okay. Wow. <laughs> What's one of your greatest strengths? Hey, Jay. Well, I can't hear you, nigga. Okay. Well, I can't hear you. What's one of your greatest weakness? By the way, a lot of people I go in there to an interview saying that exact answer don't have one. Yeah. What is your greatest? Everyone has a weakness. What is your weakness? My weakness was working with others. She independent person. I was always I was better working. Like with my greatest strength, I was, I said, working alone, being independent. And my weakness was working with others. But I can, but you always, when you throw out, the trick with the weakness is when you throw out your weakness, you go behind it and say, but I can work, I'm able to work well with others. But that is my weakness. You want to clarify your weakness, make it sound good, you know? Why did you leave your last job? I'm out of game. You should have said I have to the job so she can understand. Why did you leave your last job? McDonald's. No, you just say, you be honest. You didn't have, this is your first job and you're looking to gain experience. Oh. <laughs> you be honest with the interview. <laughs> okay, Jamari, it's your turn. Okay. Okay. How old are you? 15. What made you apply for this job? What made you apply for this job? <laughs> what made you apply for the job? <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> okay. Be honest, take a breather, think of way things that what made you apply for a job. Besides saying because of the money. To make the company uh. better. Wait. That's a good start. That's a good start. It's okay. To make the company better. But when you say you got to be able to back your question up because she could hit, come around and get you like, what, what are ways that you can, what are, what are some things you can do that make this company better? Like what, because basically what you're saying is they slacking somewhere. Oh. Like what, what we doing wrong <laughs> that you can do right? Because this company been around here far more <laughs> many years than you've been born. <laughs> so you're gonna have to I can uh, build the company up. Okay, now that's a better answer. Okay. So build the company up. Ooh. You can build a company up. You can help the company grow. Yeah, yeah. Don't go in there talking like I can make this company better. Shout <laughs> 
point blank. That's it. You know? Okay. Tell me a little about yourself. Think professional in a professional, like if you was working somewhere, what are some things that people like about you? Think about it that way. Personality? That's, but in a job related term. I can work when I really need to do No, no, no. <laughs> Tell me a little about yourself. And that, that's a good, keep going. Keep going. You was about to say you a hard worker. That's a good one. I was going to say I'm hard. <laughs> you said what? I was going to say I'm hard. <laughs> is that what you was about to say? I thought you was about to say I'm a hard worker. This is not the type of job for you. This is a cleaning position. If you're trying to be an artist, you can go somewhere else. Well, I'm a hard worker. And? I can work well with others and alone. Okay. Give me one more. Just give me one more. Just one more. Just, I want you to think. Use that head. A few moments later. I don't even know. I'm reliable. <laughs> I'm trustworthy. All this stuff you can say. Okay, let's move on to the next. What is salary? <laughs> do any do y'all even know what salary is? <laughs> if I would have said hourly wage, hourly wage. How much money do you get? Hourly. So, what is your expectations? And working in this company, what do you think you should get paid? Is what that question boils down to. Forty dollars. I'm sorry, but you. <laughs> That's way, way beyond. Twenty. For. Person that's this is their first time working with no experience, and you think I, I should? I think the for hour. Wait, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the team for hour. Right. Seven. Bring seven. it down. Seven. Seven. The minimum wage is seven. I think it went up to seven. Wait, if I'm, I'm not sure what the minimum wage is. I haven't hit minimum wage in a minute. I'm just gonna say eight dollars. At the, dollars. At the job, minimum wage. At the job, you get. Hey, thirty dollars per week. No, it's per unit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many, however many rooms that y'all clean up, that's thirty dollars. Just straight up slap in our end. That's like three to five. You know, new room inside. Mm -hmm. So we not getting paid weekly. Um, I don't know how she got to you all y'all will find out when y'all go to the interview. Which I'm not gonna be there, so <laughs> y'all gonna have daddy with y'all. Daddy. daddy. Oh, my husband. Oh. Did you tell your mom? Yeah. Okay. What should say? Make sure you go on the first day. Go that first day. Okay. And you said the ninth, the last day. Why do you want this job? For um, the oh, it's, you said. Why do you want this job? Yeah. Okay, so you. I mean, this is good that this is a bit <laughs> of practice because you cannot do all of that. You need to sit down, back straight up, looking 
directly in the eyes and just talking to them. There's no. <laughs> None of that. Not none of that. Cause they're gonna read a lot by how your posture is. Cause you <laughs> doing all that, you're gonna be like, okay, this person really is wasting my time for one and they're not even interested. Okay? But that's I'm just saying that's how the interviewer is gonna look at it, you know. Okay, I'm going to ask you a couple more questions. I'm going to give you a little tough one, okay? How do you define success? How do you define success? Just throw something out there. What do you think I'm talking about when I say that? When I ask you that question, how do you define success? Whoa! Go for it. Just, ah, just throw something out there. No? You, you don't. The word success. What, but what do that mean to you? When that person say, I'm successful. What makes them successful? There's different levels of success. Like your success can be diff way different from somebody else's success. How do you define success? Because some people could be working and be content to whatever they're doing and they just stay on that level. Your success could be not content. You're always wanting to build up. Okay, let me ask you another question. What skills will you bring to this company? <laughs> what, think of skills that you can bring into a company. Think of what you're doing. The position that you apply for, think about <clears throat> what skills can you bring into that. Even though it's just cleaning, there's a lot of skills you can bring into that. Just throw me give me one. You know what skills are. So think of skills and applying it to that position. Okay, I'll give you a different one. Let's see. <laughs> You're not asking this egg question as this one. What is your greatest weakness? And what is your greatest <laughs> strength? And this will be the last question. Greatest weakness is talk. I don't know. Just think of something. What is we're going to be go talk to what getting on nerves? No, you can't say that. I can't say it. I can't say it. Mm -hmm. Elaborate. Yeah, you have. It's a job. Let's go, go, let's go. Let's show me that you can't work with others. <laughs> Talking down on you tonight. No. What is your weakness? Not what people do around you. What is your weakness? What is something that you do that you lack of? I don't know what I like. I can give you a lot of things what you like of. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Think about what I have to argue with you about. Mm -hmm. It's here you go. So you <laughs> unorganized. That that, 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 that. That's what I was saying for so with your your greatest weakness, you always turn it around and make it better. You make it sound good. Like this is something that you're working on. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like one of the minds was even though it really wasn't, but it was just something I said because I had to give them something. I said I was unorganized. But there's, you can like put it. Put you on a cleaning job. That's not going to make you. They're not going to hire you from not being. It doesn't matter. It's the fact that you turn that around and they want to see that you're working on it. You're making yourself better. So when I say that my greatest weakness is being unorganized. I'm like, oh, but. I like that unorganized. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you said it means. Never mind. I'm gonna do it. 
That's my weakness. Just unorganized. So what I'm doing to better myself and to become organized is that I put notes on cabinets and labels and, you know, stuff like that. When I say my greatest strength, I said communication because I, I talk well with others. I communicate. I can communicate on different levels with everyone. I can interact with anyone. And that was mine. So you just, I want y'all to like really think about it. Even, I might even write y'all some questions down so y'all can read over it and like think about it and write it down. Not from going off of each other. Like this is you. So you will write down, what is my weakness? What is my greatest strength? It's, it's what kind of skills can I bring to the company? What makes me a great leader? What makes me a hard worker? Being organized. And that's what's something that I want y'all to sit back and y'all can just, that would be y'all homework for tomorrow. I'm gonna write y'all some questions down and y'all will just fill in the blanks and at least come up with three, at least two, I'm gonna say, at least two for y'all. It's just to, a way to expand that vocabulary in your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So just at least two answers per question, okay? Well, <laughs> but that is over with. This is the end of this vlog. If y'all haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment below, please. Leave the comments below what y'all think about this video. So I will see y'all in the next mother freaking video. Love y'all. Y'all have anything to say? <laughs> oh yeah, y'all done with talking. Y'all just done. Y'all fed up with it. <laughs> okay, well, peace out.